Hi, I'm Tamika Richardson for The Sports Life. And today I'm joined by legendary Roy Hilton, formerly of the Baltimore Colts, and his grandson, the Tennessee Titans linebacker, Brandon Copeland. His draft was a little different, or he was undrafted, and he was waiting for a call, and he got the call. So what did you do? Well, I was just about undrafted, too. They had, I was the 18th round draft pick for the Baltimore Colts, mm -hmm. and also I was the 10th round draft pick of the Houston Oilers, who is now the Tennessee, Tennessee Titans. Titans. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like I said, and I was fortunate enough to hang around because I always was kind of cocky. I thought I was good. And uh, they kept three rookies from my rookie year. One was our number one draft pick, who was Mike Curtis. Mm -hmm. And the second guy they kept had won the Maxwell and the Outland from Penn State. It's Glenn Ressler. Mm. And the third guy they kept from the rookie class was me. Wow. So I, uh, it, was, it was survival. It was survival. <laughs> <laughs> Ravens, Titans, and Colts, Oilers. Right. A little symbolic there. He's following <laughs> grandfather's footprints. Well, I think he'll be a, a lot better than I was. And why do you say that? Well, I, you know, he, he knows more about the game than I knew at that stage. And uh, he, I think he he's, he's has more strength than I had. And uh, he'd, he'd be a better ball player. He'd be a better ball player. Because what do you say to that? Love... Plus, he was fortunate enough to play in the Ivy League and still make the NFL, see? And we didn't think much of the players from the Ivy League when I was playing. Oh, they still don't, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that, but yeah, but he's still true. here. Yeah, yeah no he, doubt. He, he's no doubt. still here. Yes. Uh, I mean, me, I, I, I have a, a few more years to make it before I can even compare myself. So, you know, all I do is, is you know, obviously my granddad's being very humble, but, you know, I'm not even on his level. I'm just trying to trying to get there. So there's a lot of lonely nights when you're on the road. So what did you tell your grandson to do in those lonely nights? Become familiar with the opposition and, and be ready, get yourself ready mentally as well as, as, well as physically and uh, you'll be all right. And, and the thing about it is, you know, things like coming off the ball, working on your reflex quickness. Mm -hmm. Quickness is more important than Speed is great too, but quickness will beat speed. Mm. And like speed will beat the brute strength. Mm. But uh, quickness is, you, you, can't, uh, you, you can't do without that. It, it, it's not a game that you be around and play for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't have played 11 years. You wouldn't have? No. What would you have done? I don't know, but I wouldn't have played. I, I, you know, I, that I'm not sure, but I, if I, it, with the knowledge that I have now about the game, I would have done something mm -hmm. different than I've, I've done. And uh, as a matter of fact, sometimes I, I worry about my grandsons because uh, I see the guys they play against. I see some of the, the 330 pounds. <laughs> 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 and it, it, it gets my attention, and, you know. So do you tell them that this is not a long-term career? This is, they should always be thinking for the future? No, but he, well, if something comes along, they know about it. And they are, one advantage of, of him going to the Penn the University is he's no dummy. <laughs> so clearly not. <laughs> right. So you know. I, you talking about my alma mater too? So <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, I think that you know, like you talk about the advice, and and ever since I've been little, my granddad, even when we're driving, for example, for things as little as driving, you know, he always says it's a poor rat that only has one hole, um, and I think that you know that's that's something that I've been. I've learned from my family. I've been fortunate enough to have the type of family around me that has provided me with opportunities to learn about different things in life. Um, so, you know, while football is my dream, um, and I definitely want to do it for as long as possible, as long as I would like to do it, mm -hmm. um, and be be great at it, um, you know, it's not the end-all, be-all of who I am as a person. So, 
And I think that's the difference between, you know, a, a, a lot of people nowadays. And, and football, the difference between, you know, his era and our era is, you know, the, the fortunate thing is football, like you said, the price is right. So football can provide you with a lot of capital to, to, to do other things outside of football. And, and I mean, I, you see more and more guys taking advantage of it as well. And that's not to say that they don't love their sport, but they also, you know, like I said, football is part of who I am, not who I am. So and I got that all from my granddad. <laughs> you have another grandson who used to play football and basketball. And then you have another a third grandson who's played basketball for Loyola. Right. I guess it's in the genes. Yes, we we've been kind of <laughs> no we we've been kind of fortunate. We we really have been, and, and I in particular, uh, it, I guess it, one of the toughest things I had, this past year when they, they had the draft and my grandson Brandon signed as a as a free agent, but I mean it was just a, such a thrill to see him come and do something that he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It was important to him, and he could also be in the right place and time to be able to make a living at it mm -hmm. and it's as a bragging rights I mean just even if I had to brag to myself okay, well you could brag could, to the people you, now you, you could, <laughs> no well that's that's not the way to go <laughs> you, you can't top that though you, you can't top that like, no I, like I, I, I bump into an old teammate of mine and uh, I mean it was like uh, taking a step towards heaven to be able to say, you know, hey, my grandson is in the NFL, you know, and and that's that was the ultimate. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you have just as many years as your grandfather, yeah. and I'm sure you will be be chilling at the Tennessee Titans game, especially <laughs> when they play the Ravens this season. Yes. Uh, well, I, actually, I, I, I'm a football fan, but I'm a bigger Brandon Copeland fan. As you <laughs> should be. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for having us. I'm Tamiko Richardson. Thanks for tuning in to The Sports Life.